Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Al Kamil, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a template that gets you the best price from different suppliers offering. I would like to thank Tony for sending this request. Uh, it is really something um, you know a lot of people uh, need, and uh, hopefully, in this video, it's going to provide you the answers you're looking for. So thanks again, and I encourage everyone to send me uh, via email, you know, or any other means by commenting or anything, you know, if you have any ideas for uh, future videos that could help a lot of people. So thank you, Tony. So let's start by giving you a, um, a, a simple advice. Okay, so uh, constructing complex formulas, which sometimes we have to, um, you know, requires that you draw a, a diagram for the problem basically analyze it try to find you know the the um, the shortest path you know to the solution but most of the time you need to draw it so you can understand it all right i'm gonna explain what i did to solve this problem so we have a complex formula here for the lowest price offered and we have even a longer and more complex function for the uh, name of the company who offered the uh, uh, lowest price and this is actually the shortest path that i could you know uh, take uh, to get this result so let's look at the lowest price offered how did i come up with the solution so basically what i did first for each product here okay so for example uh, if i'm writing the formula here in this cell then I'm going to be looking at the home and office phones. So basically the first thing, and uh, if we look at the uh, flowchart, we get the cell address for product in suppliers table, and we're going to use index and match functions to do that. So basically what we do, you know, we take the home and office uh, phones and we look through this column and try to find it. And once we find it, which is this row, we get the cell reference for it by using the index and match function and that's going to give us h7 as h17 uh, cell reference okay once we do that so this is the first part once we do that we're going to isolate the whole row that actually contain you know uh, this cell so we're going to use the offset function to do that and basically we're going to uh, isolate the whole row here and then once it's isolated, it's no longer associated with the table, with the table, what we do, we take the minimum for it using the minimum function. Okay, and this is how we got the lowest price offered. All right, and uh, if we go to the um, name of the supplier who offered the lowest price, um, the way we did it, actually, we continued from what we have done before, we're going to use some of the stuff that we have done already. So we're going to take the isolated row for each product and we're going to get also the minimum value. We're going to use it to get what? To get the relative location of the cell that contains the minimum value. Using what? Using the minimum, you know, function and using the match to get the relative location. Okay, so uh, the home and office phones here, once we isolate the whole row, we're going to find the relative location for it in this row alone. And that's going to give us the fourth cell in this range. Okay, because it is, you know, the fourth cell counting left to right. All right. And once we get that, what we do, we're going to go to the header of the product cell here and shift the location of this cell, the product header, by the number of the relative location, or by number of cells that match the relative location of the minimum value. And this was going to give us Lenovo. And this is why you see here Lenovo. Okay, I hope that explains, uh, you know, the methodology and how I arrived at this, uh, you know, uh, complex location. And I do advise you to do the same when trying to uh, uh, come up with a uh, complex formula. And we're going to build it from scratch now so you can see how everything works. So let's start with the lowest price offered. Um, and according to the flowchart, we need to get the address for the product in the supplier's table. 
And to do that, as we explain, we need the index function and the match function. So the index function is going to ask us for an array, and our array is basically the product column. And the row number, basically which product of these that we would like to get the reference for, we need to use the match function. And the match function needs, you know, the lookup value. And this is our lookup value, the product that we would like to look up. And the lookup array, we would like to search for this product here in this column, the product column in the supplier's table. And we would like the, uh, the match to be exact match. Okay. And this will give us the reference for the product that we are uh, looking for. But once you hit enter, you get the, uh, you know, the same product name that you have here. You don't get the seller reference. And uh, this is where you need to understand something about the index function. The index function will give you both. It's going to give you the, um, the, you know, the value of the cell that you are looking for. And also it's going to give you the reference and it will display, you know, um, or it will give you either one based on the context. So if index function is a, in a function that requires, you know, a cell reference, it's going to give the cell reference. So the uh, next step then, uh, it's to isolate the entire row in the supplier's table where we find the product, okay? So this is where we found the uh, product for the first cell here. So we would like to isolate the whole row here, okay? So we go back to the same formula that we just did and we use the offset function. And the offset function requires a reference and this is where the index function is going to give us this reference okay so in this context it's not going to give us these values it basically is going to give us the reference where this value actually resides in the suppliers table all right and now uh, the offset function basically offsets or shifts you know any cell or any reference by any number of rows or columns but in this case we would we don't want to shift it okay so we put zero for the rows zero for columns but we would like to expand you know the selection so the height we would like it to be one row and the width which is the whole row we would like it to be four but what if we add more suppliers to this to the suppliers table we have more offering we don't want to go back every time and change it so let's we would like to have it dynamically change so what we can do, we can relate it to the number of columns in the suppliers table. And we can use the columns functions, you know, to get the number of columns in the suppliers table. And with that, we are done. Now, the problem here, I cannot hit enter because the offset was going to give us rows, you know, for each, uh, it's going to give us one row for each product, and uh, this will not display in the table. So what do we do? We go back here at the beginning, and we take the minimum. We know that we have isolated the whole row, and now we take the minimum value for it. And that's why we go at the beginning. So we take the minimum for the whole row here, and with that, we just hit enter, and voila. As you can see here, we get the minimum value for each row that, you know, belongs to a certain product that we looked for. All right. Now, this is the first part. For the second part, we're going to calculate the name of the supplier who offered the lowest price. And to do that, we're going to use some of the calculation that we have done before. So we're going to use the isolated row for the product in the supplier's table as input and also the minimum value or the lowest price that we calculated in the previous step as well to calculate the relative location of the cell that contains the minimum value. Okay, so we know that the isolated row uh, already is inside the function and uh, was actually calculated by the function offset. So we're gonna select it here and we're gonna copy it. And now we're gonna use the match function to get the relative location. 
So the match function is going to ask for a lookup value, which is the lowest price. And the lookup array is going to be our isolated row. And the um, match is going to be, you know, exact match. And with that, you can see it's going to give us the relative location of the minimum value. Um, so for home and office phones, which is here, you know, it's going to be the fourth cell counting from left to right. And this is why you see four here. Now we're going to, in the next, you know, step, we're going to get the supplier name that offered the lowest price. And we're going to do that by using the offset function and using the uh, relative location that we have just calculated. Uh, the offset function, uh, we're going to use it to shift the product column header cell here by number of cells that matches the relative location of the cell that contains the minimum value. Now, the problem is the relative value sometimes is four and we have only, you know, four columns here. And if we shift the product cell by four cells, it's going to arrive outside of the table, giving us a wrong value. And this is why the match function, before we put it inside the offset function, we need to put minus one. Okay. Uh, so now we can shift the product uh, cell, uh, you know, with the correct number of cells. So this is the amount of shift that we're going to apply to the product header. All right. So we're going to use the offset function. So we go back inside the function and we put offset and the offset's going to ask us for a reference. And the reference now it's going to be the product um, header. Uh, product column header in the supplier table. If we click it, it's going to give us, you know, exactly where it is, which is supplier table, headers, product. All right. And this is what we're looking for. And then we put, you know, um, a comma and the number of rows. We don't want to shift the product header cell by uh, number of rows. So we're going to put zero but we're going to shift it by number of columns and the number of columns is going to be what we calculated before, which is the relative location of the minimum value. Okay. And then this is it. We just close the function. All right. And when we hit enter, we get the supplier name uh, for that, sub, you know, offer the lowest price. Um, I know it's a bit complicated, but uh, this is why we're using a flowchart. And I hope you've, you know, and found this useful. And, uh, and, and this actually, uh, this exercise, it, it's not only for lowest price, you can use it also for other applications, you know, what you would like to find, you know, a certain value, you know, that matches something. Okay, and this is how you go about it. All right. I enjoyed actually doing this and um, hope you guys did as well. Thank you so much. See you next time.